Tamson and Dan, suspects had just broken into the home. They grabbed the keys from inside of the home. They went outside and they started driving away with the vehicle. In fact, police say they had a little bit of a tough time because the vehicle was a push start and they didn't know how to start the vehicle immediately. At some point, they were able to start the car and they started going out of the driveway. That's when the man jumped on the hood of the car thinking that they would stop, but they just kept going. Terrifying moments caught on video as police say two thieves drove away with a vehicle as a man hung on to the hood of the car for dear life. I'm still in shock. It, it just, it's really hard. I mean, it's scary to know that he's in critical conditions right now, but he is stable. So thank God for that. But I don't know what to think. Angela Dillon is still trying to make sense of how anyone could just keep driving with her father, James Dillon, on the hood. It was her car, officials say, the suspects were trying to steal. A neighbor's surveillance camera first capturing the man yelling for help off camera. Now watch as the vehicle just keeps on going. It continues for over a mile. I feel like he wanted to make sure I had my car. I, I, it's just instinct, I guess. That's how he reacted in that situation. But um, I just the bravery that he has sometimes is a little. It all happened around 7 a.m. near the corner of High and Home Streets in Belleville, New Jersey. Police say they've arrested two suspects from Newark, an 18 and 17 year old. Investigators believe they first broke into the home, grabbed the keys and turned on the vehicle. The victim had just come home from a night shift at work and jumped on the hood in an attempt to save his daughter's car. He now has a brain injury and multiple fractures. My dad cares a lot about his family and he would do anything for them. So he's just a hardworking man and I, like the fact that he did all of that, like you can truly see how much love he has for his family. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to have more details about that terrifying ordeal, including what police had to say about all of this. Online, we put a link to a GoFundMe page that the family has put up. The family telling us that they're concerned about the medical bills. We're live in New Jersey. I'm Cristian Benavides, PIX11 News.